So, Land of Destiny, it's an awesome game. You should try it. Pretty much the first thing you should do in Land of Destiny is read your messages. Ooh, battle report. Hey, I just like lost some stuff. Okay, uh, oh no, I gained some stuff. I know this guy from another game. Oh, he's our GM. Okay, so, gotta talk to some friends. Pretty much the first thing you should do when playing Land of Destiny, log into chat here and be like, Hey, this game is just like Travian. Okay. Uh, I like to have that on the side. So, uh, let's do some, like, dual wielding windows here. Uh, right. One account per server. This is in server two. So, uh, here's my server one account, which is better. You can see on the rankings. And, uh, let's see. So, top 100 players. Now, first thing you want to do during Land of Destiny is get your first building set up. So, to make a building, you need peasants, and you can get those here. Beginning of the game, it'll look like this tent, and your peasants can be recruited there. And you can get these three uh, hunters, quarries, woodcutters. They all produce resources automatically. You can get hunters and woodcutters in these three locations, and a quarry can go there or there. Uh, you can also build a well in either location for water later on. Wells are like way down there. So, anyways, enough about wells. You need woodcutters for a sawmill. Sawmills convert logs to planks, but you actually have to tell it how many to produce. And once you get all that, you can upgrade your main building. Main buildings allow you to unlock geologists here in the research menu. You can research geologists. Oh yes! Mounted archers! Haha. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, mounted archers are the best raiding units because they're so fast and carry a lot. But anyways, um, wow, can't believe I actually, sweet. Anyways, uh, yeah, main building, you want to research geologists to have them researched. They require, I believe, one magnifying glass, which you start the game with. So here, geologist. Then you can go to inspect your mountains, click on either those two locations, and you'll be able to build coal mine, iron mine, coal mine, iron mine. They produce some, um, uh, ore. You can actually check how much you get per hour, and upgrade those a few times, and you can, uh, actually, you just need one of each, and you can get your iron melter, and then you're set up. Iron melter, sawmill, uh, works just like the sawmill, you produce your resources by hand, and it'll actually, if we refresh, you can go here, and it'll show you how long it'll take to finish construction. If you have not donated to the game, and you are playing on a free account, the only difference is... In order to send another sh uh, order of iron, you just have to cancel that and redo it. But if you have premium, you can just add on stuff and it'll produce for you. So, ah, iron melter, sawmill. Those are like the awesomest stuff. And pretty much, as we say, it's just like Travian. Uh, what's this? Oh, these are my friends. So, hello, Raikou. Hi, I am making a video to be better than your video, Raikou. Hence the noobishfulness in order to explain the newbie aspects of the game. Ah, bad typo there. Anyways, uh, yeah, you want to join chat because there's so many awesome people here. Anyways. Uh, to get stuff, now that you have Iron Melter and Toolmaker, so this is actually my favorite part of the game because I spent some time foolproofing that, so no matter what you do, you will not run out of pickaxes or iron until you get that Iron Melter. <laughs> it's actually impossible, unless you downgrade stuff on purpose, like, huh, see, downgrade button, but you don't want to press that. Ugh, don't press that. It'll waste yourself. Anyways, Toolmaker. You can get a Toolmaker to, uh, like, build tools. I'll actually show you. See, Toolmaker, this is, like, really cool. You can actually get whatever you want. I like, uh, sawmills, because you get some nice, uh, what do you call it? Planks. So I can, like, upgrade my sawmill. I have enough peasants here. They're trained at the, what do you call it, main building. And I have enough food production. I can get some more peasants. Anyways, uh, 
Yeah, so after that, you might want to expand your empire. So you can either get a weaponsmith and start training, uh, well, equipment, and then get a garrison and start training like swordsmen and stuff. Oh, I almost have those mounted uh, archers ready. But anyways, those are the best. But you can also go for the, 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 the settlers. Uh, so, well, first of all, weaponsmith, raiding, you can like, Click on someone, attack, and you will get a battle report in a few minutes once they reach there. See, I, uh, I, uh, sent some, like, cavalry, and I got some resources. So, weakness. Although it's better if you can find some tools, because those are harder to produce. Anyways, once you get that, you can start raiding players. Or, if you don't want to, you can activate Imperial Protection. That'll show, like, uh... Ooh, let's show these dudes. So, Imperial Protection looks like this. You cannot attack someone because that appears. You go here, Castle, uh, Show Protection offers, and this is Soldiers, this is Invincibility, but there is a tax rate on Imperial Protection. So, once you get either the troops or the Imperial Protection, I recommend Peasants because they're awesome at raiding, you can go and get some Settlers Research. So, Research Menu, you need a, what do you call it? level, I forget which level building, but uh, you will definitely need the farm and the well, so you can get a farm in either of these three locations, and uh, farms produce grain, but not in winter. See, right now it's winter. I think it changes like every week the season, so uh, farms do not produce grain in winter. You can actually check. Zero percent grain. Ooh, extra bonuses. Anyways, uh, you need to make your farm in spring or summer or autumn and they will get some grain you can check your warehouse grain uh get some uh windmills built here windmills and then breweries so windmills like the sawmill you have to order your flour and then the flour can be used with water from the well at the brewery so i'm just going to order some beer and beer you need 500 beer to train a settler you can actually check unit list settlers and uh, you need 250 hammers from the tool maker and some planks stone iron food food's easy because you always have an excess of it or else your dudes will starve and what do you call this garrison oh you need that for troops i think so uh level 15 main building that gives you an influence area so that pretty much looks like a little square around your guy hmm, i have another little square here because he has an influence area Oh, this guy's cutting in on my influence area, so he has a little square around him. Uh, that's because the bigger square is because he has a level 30 main building, which is like the maximum. <clears throat> some buildings can be maxed out at 30, but some others, like the sawmill up here, are maxed out at 20. And uh, what do you call this? Some extra buildings. Stables are for horses. Mounted archers. I think I'm going to order some horses because I'm going to want some mounted archers. Uh, don't have enough grain because I spent it all on beer. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much the buildings. What else is there in the game?